In this eight minute video, we're going to show you an overview of the upgrades we've made to the PMT service over the summer. Just use this game as an example, the new automated game with additions made. The nil one looks higher, we can see on the graph, we can see flashing prices that come up when a price is uh, taken. We can see it's lower on uh, PMT, it's lower on the spreads which are now on all automated games. So let's just go in, just show you uh, an example uh, of what to look for, uh, what to get on. So we backed it at 19.5. That's brought the price in a tick. Liquidity is not great, hence the, uh, the low stakes here. Liquidity, of course, will return once the English season kicks off. And you can see that PMT will refresh and update uh, when changes are made. Pinnacle refreshes every 60 seconds. So there we go. We've been matched on the nil one. Didn't take long, did it? Uh, 15 pounds wasn't taken, but we got a free 40 pounds on the nil one here, which the way Celtic play at times is not a bad thing. So we can see Celtic are drifting. They've been drifting. The one nil looks low, we can see compared to PMT and the spreads. There's a fair bit of difference there. Uh, and the spread prices can be used to um, uh, use next to obviously Betfair and PMT to um, you know, give you more of an idea of where a price should be, what it should be. So let's just go in here and lay the one nil. Let's go in at the back price. Why take the uh, lay price and offer? We're going to take the uh, back price and sit in the queue. And here's our new chat room with a few of the fellas in. Some very knowledgeable guys in there. So it's well worth getting in as soon as you sign up and you'll learn and earn. Simple as that. Have a bit of a laugh too. So we can see here Celtic continue to drift, which is good for the 1 0 because that should um, also drift in this example. Let's run through a couple of other things here. Let's have a look at uh, the manual page. Option A is to bring up early sporting index prices that can be used the day before, two days before, to get an idea of early prices. And here is the new auto DI page. All games are now automated. You click on one and it'll open in a new browser. We've got the Betfair Pinnacle spread prices there, you can see in the match odds. And the 2.5, where applicable. You can sort option via the matched amounts. You've got the previous price, just hover your mouse over. We've got the odds link on the left hand side. So if you click in that, it will instantly go to that particular match. So you can see what the bookmakers are showing for that game. And that will list all the in-play games um, on Betfair. Brilliant. Masterpiece. So there's a filter as well. So you can f filter in whatever you want to do. You can show certain specific games where the draw inflation is between... Uh, over 15, 15 to 20 percent. Um, filter it via the match odds, uh, liquidity, say a minimum of 50,000 in the match odds, this sort of thing. All of this can now be done. And all we do is just click on one particular game and it'll open up and go straight to the automated part. So th there are basically so many games to choose from, which means so many uh, opportunities, misaligned prices uh, for us all to profit on, and we will. Uh, before this, we only had five maximum automated games at any one point, uh, and now any game is automated. So 
So just going back to the 1-0. Our lay is being matched. Laying is good first because most people prefer to back. So they will take your money quicker than if you put a back price in waiting to get matched. And you can see how long to kick off. You can see the odds, top right hand corner. And because I believe the price should be at least 8.2 here, that's uh, that's what I'm going to go in at. And try and nick some free money. And if Celtic continue to drift, what will happen to the 1-0? Well, that will also continue to drift. And this is where option B on the manual page is quite useful. What you can do is replicate the odds on the game as they are now. And if you alter the home price, uh, away price, draw uh, under 2.5, if that moves, and press calculate, you can see where exactly the prices will go to. So you've got to get the right combination. And there you can see the difference it actually makes. Uh, and this, this is quite handy. It's quite a handy sort of tool to, to, to use if you see and think a price is going to move somewhere. So there we go. We're just waiting now. 1-0 drifting exactly as it should do. You've got a little green arrow there just uh, showing that the last price is uh, uh, directions moved up a tick. Now we're sitting at 8.2. Got £96 ahead of us at 8, so we've got a little bit of a cushion. I'm going to cancel the 19.5 because that doesn't look like that's going to be uh, taken. That's not going to jump out. And there we go, we've got 40 on nil one, we've got 60 on one nil. It's still low, so you know, why not go back in again? Got uh, enough time before kickoff. You find a lot of people sort of panic late last minute, they want to get matched, they want to get out of their position, they will take prices on offer. So there's very little money at 7.6, 19 pounds, so let's go in there, lay it. And there we go, instantly taken. And we just go in one tick higher for 23 pounds. So this is fairly easy. Uh, if you've tried it before, why not come back and give it another go? We'd love to see you.